Hello there all you tubies and tubeds and welcome back to Retrospects. Now you may think I've seen that before and you have seen this before because it is Coco Cookies bus stop uh, for the bus that he made. Uh, so I wanted to use it in this video and you will see why because Spudsy here is waiting for a bus. Uh, no ordinary bus uh, but a very British bus. Uh, Obviously, I am British. I wanted to make something a little bit British and retro at the same time. So, what I made was quite spectacular and amazing. And here it is! Yay! Let's uh, jump out of there and uh, let's have a look. So, yeah, this is a Diddy Little Double Decker Bus. So, if I open the bonnet there, we see two little engines. Uh, as I look at the spiderweb on this, you can see that... The one engine is connected to the front two wheels and the other engine is connected to the back wheels. Uh, we have sensors on the side here that prevent it from tipping because it is quite light and it does go quite quick. So tipping is definitely an issue. Uh, we can jump in the back here and we have, uh, count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 seats in the passenger section and also then the driver's seat so we can drive this thing so let's have a look at that let's jump in shut the door now i've gone for the typical london bus look and i've gone for the union jack or the best i can get it in such a small build on the top now i built this bus this small because i was trying to build something for spy cakes mini city now, this might even be a little bit too small for that. However, I will submit it to him. If he wants to use it, he can feel free. Uh, it will be on the workshop as well for you guys to t try out. So, again, enjoy it. But let's just jump out of this one quickly and let's see what else we have got. So I created the small bus. Well, here is the daddy. This is the big version of the London bus. So again, we can look under the bonnet. I'll we'll use a lift for this one. Uh, let's jump on there. We can look under the bonnet and we'll see that there is a big old engine in there. Uh, spider web wise a little bit more going on not that much I mean it's still only got the um, engines connected to the front and rear wheels the same as the small one and these two engines in the middle are not connected to anything apart from the driver's seat um, we have no suspension glitch to hold this one up it doesn't require it uh, let's just shut that bonnet there and let's show you around so on the back of this one then we can jump in you have a little litter box there to put your tickets in when you get off uh, we've got seats in the back here. Uh, these are glitch welded together. I think Coco Cookie did the same on his bus. Uh, so fantastic glitch welded uh, seats. Uh, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 on the bottom floor. And on the top deck we have another 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6, and another 28 so plenty of seats for passengers on this one. Uh, in the other side of the bus we have a little uh, compartment here with the spare tyre uh, in it. And we have the driver's door. Now this is more like a proper bus with little mirrors on the side. It's got a nice little grill on the front there and this little cut-in section where you can get to the bonnet. And the little door on the side as they used to have. Uh, so again like i said i was looking at the london bus and i've gone for the union jack again on top this time a little bit better because i've got a little bit of a bigger canvas to work with but as you see the two together there that is just a diddy version of this one and like i said both of these will be available on the workshop um, i'm going to drive this one around and you can see how this one goes it's again quite a nifty little drive it doesn't really tip over that easy i'm sure i could if i spun it hard because it is quite tall, 
but it doesn't handle these bumps too bad. And let's face it, a bus isn't really made for off-road. Uh, but yeah, it's handling it quite well. Now, jumping out of these things isn't as easy as all that. I can open the door from within. Oh, oh I could if it was going to let me. I think I may need to spray something. Hold on a second. If we get the spray gun out, can I get the spray gun out? It seems to be that if we spray a block, sometimes it makes things work. So let's just spray that for a second. And there's the door. Oh, yep, yeah, the door pinged open. As you see, let's uh, put that back to the right colour. Uh, there we go. Uh, I can jump back in the seat there and attempt to get out of that door. But as you see, you tend not to. Uh, so it makes it a little bit tricky now. There are two ways of getting out of this. Uh, it's letting me out now, though. There we go. But if it doesn't let you out, and it is a bit of a squeeze, it has. So that's how you will get out if it lets you. If it doesn't let you, there are two other options. One of them is to go full speed forward and jump out whilst you do so. So let's just go down this track here. And as I jump out, I'll end up upstairs and I can then walk my way down and out the back door. So that's one way of getting out. The other way is very, very simple. And that is simply, I'll show you. You get in the seat, you can jump out of it. And then as you can't reach out there, but you can grab it and put it on a lift outside and you will drop out so that's two ways of getting out of it should it not let you out the proper way so yeah there's my double decker bus the london bus and i thought well i've got a double decker bus i've got the little double decker bus is there any other type of bus that i could do and i came up with this now this is the tour bus like the double decker it's built in a very similar way apart from it has these bars around the top and an open top uh, you get in the same way. I've done a slightly different colour scheme on it. Uh, the door in the back here, little compartment, instead of having the spare tyre, this time it has a thermos flask, a little bottle, a radio, some toilet paper. I think we go in to the seaside maybe on a little holiday, on a little trip. Um, and uh, let's look around this one. So very similar to the last one, only the seats have been painted red, white and blue. And upstairs... Like I said, there's a railing that goes round the side, but also there's this little stage area at the back. Again, it's very similar to the other one. A little bit more stable in the driving department because it is a little bit lighter and not so tall. So gravity doesn't pull it over quite as much. It does go quite fast. Um, and yeah, quite a nice little build. Now, obviously I thought built two buses or three if you include the minibus um, I've got to do something a little bit more special that's just not special enough so I had a little think and thought is there a famous bus is there a bus from a movie or a TV show something that I could build that really was something special and I thought long and hard about it and eventually I came up with From Harry Potter, this is the night bus. Uh, as seen in the film, uh, yeah, big, purple, vintage looking, a little bit more old fashioned than the other one. Uh, changed the sides slightly and the headlamps. Um, and it is huge. Now, if I get this on a lift for a moment, in fact, look at the um, spider web. This has got a lot going on. Because as you can imagine, a triple decker bus is quite off balance when turning corners because it is tall. 
So therefore gravity has its way and wants to pull this thing over. Um, so to counter that, I have, as you see at the top there, and doesn't that look pretty? I have at the top there a array of thrusters. Now you may uh, see them all there as the dots and they will push it upright if it starts to fall over on these sensors at the bottom here because obviously suspension glitches were not going to be enough like in the very very minibus I had to have something a little bit bigger and these thrusters did the job now I started with just four or five thrusters per side and thought that might do it uh -uh. in the end I had to put this amount of thrusters I haven't counted them but a whole row on one side and a whole row on the other uh, in order to get this to stay up so I didn't want to make it fly because I thought well it, a it doesn't fly and B uh, everything I seem to make seems to fly so to get away from that this time I didn't do it I've got thrusters that push it forward so it gets a little bit more thrust we've got unusual strange pipes and things traveling through it and then up the top you will see the thrusters and this is what I mean so a whole row on one side and a whole row on the other side all connected to those sensors down there and uh, that is what will keep this upright hopefully so let's try this out and see if I am correct let's get down here so in the side this time we have oh some feet and a sort of poison sign I guess uh, yeah I don't think we want to mess around with that. Let's uh, stay out of there. Wizards are a bit strange. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with any wizardy stuff. So if I stand in front of this sensor, you'll probably see... Oh, there you go. It leans over and then promptly leans back. Now, while it was over there, you can see all them fancy pipes underneath. I thought I'd like added a little something to it. But as you see, it will stand back up eventually. There we go. It's, it's starting to slow itself down there you go it's standing up so this one is a whole different ball game to drive than the others so if I hop in there uh, you will see that I can drive this around quite happily and it will not fall over I can't zoom out any more than I am now oh, because it will not do it as a, it's such a big build I can't get out of that one so let's jump out quickly uh, there you go there's those lovely rainbow thrusters as I said the ones that came in the Durf mod aren't they beautiful fantastic uh, fantastic Durf magic yet again uh, let's put this back on its wheels and uh, also you may have noticed because this bus is magical if I jump up here and open the bonnet there is no engine in this just boot some toilet paper and a duck uh, yeah so it's magic magic makes this thing drive it doesn't need an engine it just uses magic uh, so one more little spin in this then I think to end the video uh, all these builds of course will be available on the workshop as per usual and if you like them of course download them play with them mess around with them that is what they're there for I hope you guys enjoy doing just that now, if you like this video, of course, as always, 
why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more retro specs and until next time see you soon bye for now